Hey, it's Kevin again from Marine Max Danvers. I'm here with Eric. Uh, we're going to be showing you a process that a lot of new boat owners often don't know about or neglect, and that is the process of yearly compounding and buffing and putting a layer of wax on your hull. So gel coat, which is the color material that goes over the fiberglass of a fiberglass boat, is a pretty resilient material, but with salt air in the and constant exposure, you do get a lot of oxidation, you do get a lot of um, fading of the color. So putting, putting a wax down and compounding the surfaces is a good way to make sure that your color stays vibrant and that your hull stay looking good. So I'm going to pass this off to Eric and he's going to show you a little bit of technique on a newer hull, how to apply wax. Alright, so we're going to go with the simple two-step process of applying the wax and just pulling it off. And so what I have here is a random orbital um, buffer. And so I use this to apply the wax onto the surface. So you put it on the pad, on the surface. And as I'm going, I'm overlapping my passes about 50%. That way I know that I'm getting full coverage on the surface. I'm not putting too much pressure on it. I'm letting the, the machine do all the work and I'm letting the pad create all the friction on the surface. And so now after I have the wax on, I come back with my rotary buffer and I polish off the wax. And this is uh, the same thing. I want to overlap my passes about 50%. All right, so on that last boat, that was just a simple wax, uh, more or less just getting the wax on and off. On something like this that has a little more rub or oxidation, um, we do a little bit more of a, a process here. So we'll do a compound. And we'll apply this on by hand. Make sure it's nice and evenly Smear it on there. And then we're gonna take this heavy duty wool pad and we're gonna buff this in. Now the next step is to put some polish on it to remove the swirls. But before we do that, we wanna make sure we wipe off all residual compound on the surface. Similar to the way that we waxed, I'm going to apply this polish on with this random orbital. This is going to remove any uh, swirls that we created from doing the compounding. And then we're going to leave the product on there and we're going to finish it off with a light polish with a, um, a foam waffle pad. That's it.